The best designers use a variety of tools and techniques to convey their thoughts and ideas. It takes practice and experience to master these skills, and we're continually improving. As we become more able to communicate our concepts on paper, we should consider who we're communicating them to, and how else we can make our design work talk. So who are we communicating with? Primarily, we're making our thoughts and ideas known to our client, but there may be others who we need to have an insight into our thought process too. We might be communicating with a model maker who's going to prototype our concept, or a machinist making a part for us, or we might be seeking feedback from a focus group. Our design work conveys its own story. It's a little like a diary recording the decisions we've made, and it's a place to record the things we've learned. It gives an insight into how our minds are working, and it should be a visual equivalent of thinking out loud. However good we are at designing, our work will always be improved with annotation. So what is annotation? Simply put, it's the addition of written notes which we produce on and around our design sketches at the same time as producing them. The process of annotating our work should be quick and fluid and it should add to our creativity rather than distract us. It's a mistake to focus too hard on annotation, just as it is to focus upon producing a beautifully neat page of ideas. Thinking too carefully about what we're writing and considering our neatness and handwriting will put us under pressure and interrupt our creativity and quite possibly bring it to an end. In order to be useful, this needs to be a relaxed process. We're not being judged upon producing a piece of artwork. Our success can only be measured by how well we communicate our ideas. So what does effective annotation say? We should mention the materials we're considering the manufacturing or modelling processes we might use, and the components we're contemplating. We should talk about the features of our design ideas and how they might work, how moving parts might relate to each other. We can discuss sizes, we can discuss assembly, and what tools and equipment might be needed. might note shortfalls in our knowledge and list opportunities for further research. As always we should consider whether our thoughts address the needs of our client and how we might further develop our concepts. Whilst evaluating form and function we should take the opportunity to consider sustainability and any other environmental or social issues. We can evaluate and critique our concepts. We can consider cost implications of materials and processes and contemplate time requirements. We can give thought to ease or complexity of manufacture and opportunities for quantity production. We can consider modeling and prototyping opportunities and subsequently an order of manufacture. Annotation is a vital way of making design work talk to a third party, but it's also of huge value to the designer, him or herself. We use it as a way of recording our decisions and the thought process leading to these decisions. We use it to help with clarity during the development process. It gives us an opportunity to come back to ideas where we left off with complete understanding and recollection of where we were. This gives us a chance to come back to the same idea with a different or refreshed mindset, a new pair of eyes even. It will often trigger the designer to recognize a gap in knowledge and it gives him or her the opportunity to break from the designing process to carry out further research.
Quite simply, we could be the most creative of designers, the best of problem solvers, the most able to think outside of the box, and the most understanding of our clients' needs. But if we can't fully communicate our thoughts, then our skills are not put to full use. I hope you found this video useful, if you have then please do subscribe. Remember to hit the notifications tab to be the first to hear of the next upload. There's lots more work on the way. For a look behind the scenes and to follow my other projects, find me on Instagram at Product Designer Maker. Thanks for watching.